So here is a quick boring afternoon video about how to fix power window motors that have no brasses and they instead have uh, such kind of things for doing the job more cheaply. There's some metal stripes out of uh, copper which eventually get burned and the motor stops working. So here I have the whole assembly, the power window assembly out and uh, what we need to do is remove the motor which, is, which usually comes out by unscrewing some uh, screws around uh, this part here and it comes out like this and uh, once we get the motor out we need to remove the cover this one has two screws on the sides so these two are my newly my freshly made uh, copper brasses but uh, usually what you're going to see here is something that uh, looks you know broken or something anyways to remove those two just uh, get a pliers and uh, you know just pull it out it comes out of a slot on each side here so there might be three things that are going on inside the motor that doesn't work the first one is the obvious uh, in which case the the metal brasses will be worn in the second case uh, those two might be in a good condition but uh, slightly bended outwards so they don't get a good contact with the rotor in such case you can you know just bend them inwards with a set of pliers and it will work the third case is that um, regardless of the brass's condition the rotor might have a uh, damage itself on the contacts uh, this one is the the motor's rotor which I fixed it was uh, badly scratched so I put it on a drill and started turning it and as it was turning I, wa I was uh, sanding the contacts with a sanding paper uh, the whole procedure was looking like this so in order to make a new brass a new set of brasses you can remove what's left from uh, the original ones in my case I was lucky to have uh, one brass still intact so I got this out and made an identical part from uh, a copper stripe which I cut from a copper pipe uh, cap so when you will make those two you should bend them so the outer part that comes in part in, in in touch, uh, you know, in contact with the rotor will be slightly longer than the middle section of the cycle. You can slide the new brasses into the slots with a set of pliers and then slide the rotor inside. Remember that the brasses must be super smooth so the, the rotor won't get damaged again. So, as it's now in, it still have a nice contact on each side like this one you see here and the more must now work before testing it on the car or with a battery be sure that uh, it shows some resistance on the multimeter so uh, it doesn't have a short inside and uh, now I'm gonna test it on a battery which is uh, quite dead it has some voltage so yeah, it works. Not only it works, but it looks like it has normal torque. So yeah, I think I can now replace the plug on the wires and testing it on the car window.